I had high hopes for Zoe. I just want to make that clear. Not always, but her introductory episode gave me hope. Her next episode kind of squashed that hope, but to understand that, we need to talk about Kagami Surugi and why character growth isn't always a good thing. As I said in my last video on this character, link in the card, a lot of the apprehension regarding her was based on the fact that she was basically Chloe's replacement as Queen Bee. People who were already put off by what was done with Chloe's character were not going to be happy. It felt like Zoe existed as a perfect Bee Miraculous user to push Chloe out of the way with everyone preferring her over her spoiled cousin. Ladybug chose me to defend Paris because you couldn't do it! First barriers to Queen Bee would form a dumb barriers to Roquefort. Sweeter, more refined, and much nicer. Oh, you were! But I am the real Queen Bee now! And you're only the Queen of Bananas! However, when Zoe was introduced, something I kinda didn't expect but hoped would happen, happened. She was interesting. What exactly was wrong with your boarding school again? I... I found roaches in my locker, can you believe it? Well, that's nice, dear. Tudo bem você querer morar com a gente em Paris, mas qual era o problema com o seu colégio interno mesmo? Eu... Achei uma barata no meu armário, dá pra acreditar? Oh, que ótimo, querida. Zoe stick of taking on the characteristics of the person she was interacting with and an attempt to please them made her interesting in a way that had nothing to do with replacing Chloe apart from the shit terrible parenting that caused them to be that way. It has that legendary thing all th characters have. Potential. How would this develop? How would she interact with the others? What conflicts would be created by this as she learned to be herself? Even the ending of the episode with her befriending the main characters didn't necessarily mean that she couldn't be interesting. Then the next episode happened and it was just gone. Zoe was not only herself, she was exactly what everyone feared she would be, a better Chloe. And then the rest of the season happened and the most Zoe did that distinguished her from the other characters is when she contributed to one of the most ridiculous subplots in the show, which I talk about more in this video. Turns out that interesting aspect of her characterization had already been handled. That was it. This is a prime example of why character development isn't necessarily always a good thing especially for side characters. Let's compare Zoe to Kagami, another character who was introduced in an unfavorable position, i.e. the main character's romantic rival for their main love interest. Kagami is introduced as a cold and closed off fencer who's under a lot of pressure to the point where she gets akumatized after losing a fencing battle. But that doesn't change in the next episode. We watch her develop and see her relationships with Adrian and Marinette grow over the next few episodes from Froza. Get up. The only reason you can't stay on your feet is your hesitation. I never hesitate. To Annie Maestro. I'm glad to see you again, Kagami. Me too, Adrian. To Onichan. Congratulations. You're at your best again, I see. I'm only trying to be worthy of you. And Ikari Gozen. Do you prefer to be called by your whole name or a nickname? Uh. There's a reason Kagami is such a loved character in this show, and that's because it took its time to establish her and give her proper development. By season 4, she's pretty much done developing, but is so well established that when she gives Marinette dating advice from a shoujo manga and tells Adrian to start living his own life, I saw you on TV this morning, and I know that you don't want to leave. Once again, you let your father decide for you. This just keeps getting better. You're letting your cousin do things for you now? Who's pulling the strings of your life? Your cousin? Your father? Me when we were together? We can trace back both behaviors to things she's done previously in the show. Zoe needed to be a Kagami because of how she was introduced. It was important to express to the audience that no, she's not just some background character introduced to replace Chloe, but they rushed through her development and basically stopped after the two episodes that she was introduced in. Now she's just another Pokemon Marinette pulls out when she needs help, which will not help the audience's perception she's not a real character, just a replacement. Zoe's character wasn't bad in concept, but in execution, her development and growth happens at breakneck speed, and then she joins the rest of the side characters in the background with next to no elaboration. And for a character that was going to come in with an expected negative reception, she needed a lot more than that so people would, would stop calling her Chloe's replacement. I mean, it was going to happen whether or not she was a good character, but it would really help if she was. 
A lot of emphasis is put on character growth when discussing characters, but sometimes characters need to stagnate to hold a place in narrative. If they develop too fast or get over their flaws in their introduction, the audience can be quick to lose interest as there's really nothing else to do. Kagami was introduced in season 2, only started to have a real relationship with Marinette a half a season later, and didn't befriend Marinette until the latter half of season 3. The creators took their time, and so the audience grew more and more attached to her as we learned more of her personality, home life, awkwardness, and strong will. That's the treatment Zoe needed. I predict they'll do something with her in season 5, and if they do, I'm going to be very suspicious that it's just going to be because of the backlash of how boring she got after she was introduced. Will they do something with her? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. What do you guys think of Zoe? Did you expect anything from her? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Also, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you and good day.